What is up guys, it's your boy Ace and do I have something super exciting for you. At first, you may be thinking, this looks exactly like Paragon gameplay, but if that's not exciting enough for you, this gameplay is slightly different. You'll notice just below where it says Twin Blast, you can see his abilities. It looks like I'm playing on the PC because it shows Q, E, R and a mouse icon. Well, I am playing on the PC, but if we quickly skip ahead, notice anything different? Yeah boy, I'm playing Paragon on the PC with a PS4 controller and the game automatically switches the key configuration for me. You guys get a look at how the controls are most likely going to be laid out for Paragon on the PS4. Just remember that Paragon is still in the alpha stages. Anything I say in this video, anything you see in this video, or the controller layout, it all could change. So before we dive deeper into talking more about Paragon on the PS4, I just wanted to mention that if you have a DualShock 4 controller, you can plug that into your PC using the charging cable and you're ready to play Paragon. It's got built-in support so you don't have to download any third-party drivers to use your DualShock 4 on the PC with Paragon. At the Paragon community event, I was lucky enough to play on the PS4 and PC. Unfortunately, I was only allowed to capture gameplay from the PC, so this is as close to PS4 footage as I can get for you guys at the moment. I will have PS4 footage as soon as I'm allowed to post it. My initial reaction to Paragon on the PS4 was, wow, having played the previous alphas on PC, I was so used to a keyboard and mouse, so I thought using a controller would feel weird and I wouldn't be able to play as well as I did. It took me about 30 seconds to familiarise myself with the buttons and then the experience was just as fun as it was on the PC and honestly, I'm not trying to show off but my skills were equal on PC and PS4. I honestly couldn't tell any difference. I actually really enjoyed playing with the joystick, bunny hopping around the jungle was fun and just being able to recline in my chair, leaning back and playing some Paragon was a refreshing experience. I can't wait to just sit on my couch and play Paragon all day. A lot of people have asked me about customising the controls for the PS4 and this is something I honestly have no answer to. You have to remember that Paragon is still in like early alpha. It's not even publicly available so the game is still going through a ton of changes. I'd imagine Epic will include this because it seems like an obvious decision to me but Sony do offer support at the hardware level to customise your DualShock 4 controls so it's not the end of the world if Epic didn't include this. If you watched my previous video about Paragon on the PS4, you'll know that it runs at 60 frames per second in 1080p and this is probably why I couldn't see any difference compared to the PC. I know on the PC you'll probably get higher frame rates but having a level playing field at 60 frames per second on both platforms is so important especially with the implementation of crossplay and how competitive this game could potentially be. Let's take a look at the controller layout for Paragon. In the bottom right, just like on the PC, we have the abilities of the heroes listed. The only difference here is that the ultimate ability is now second from the left instead of third. Other than that, it's exactly the same. The bindings may be confusing, so I'll go over them for you. Square is your Q, triangle is your R, circle is your E, R2 is your left mouse button, also known as your basic attack, and R1 is your right mouse button. Now in the bottom left of the screen, you'll notice that your active cards are bound to the arrow keys on your controller. This is pretty straightforward, your left card is bound to your left arrow, right to the right arrow and so on and so on. When you wish to upgrade an ability, all you do is hold the L2 trigger, choose the ability you wish to upgrade and then press the corresponding symbol. I've done it slowly for the video and so you guys can see it, but you could just tap L2 in circle, square or triangle within a second and be done with it. Use the joystick exactly like the mouse within the card selection screen and although the joystick moves really fast because the dev whose footage this is knew the controls like the back of his hand, I noticed that when you click a slot and then a card, you can tap R2 to quickly confirm rather than using the joystick to scroll down which could take some time for new players. These handy shortcuts keep the game moving in a quick pace and at a higher level could prove vital. I mean. When you're returning to base, you want to get everything done as quickly as possible and then try and, you know, push lane or try and get back to where you were without losing too much ground. So it's a nice inclusion on Epic's behalf. There's not much for me to say because in all honesty, Paragon on the PC and PS4 are pretty much identical. 
You can also use a keyboard and mouse on the PS4 from what I heard. And I know a lot of experienced MOBA players may not be comfortable with using a controller, but may want to play on the PS4, so it's a nice inclusion by Epic. I hope that gives you a nice overview of Paragon on the PS4, what the controls are like, and how far Epic have really come with development on the PS4. Just remember guys that this is still really early alpha footage. Things are likely to change, the user interface may change a lot, the key bindings may change as well. So I wouldn't get too worked up on things like that. You can rest assured that from what I've seen, Epic have done a great job so far with Paragon on the PS4 and they're definitely heading in the right direction. So I have no worries there and you shouldn't be worried either. One great feature that I haven't seen on any PlayStation game before, because it tends to be a lot more common on PC, was the ability to reconnect to a game. So for example, if your game had crashed, or you'd been disconnected from the internet, or anything that would cause you to generally drop out from the game, even if the application on the PS4 closed, the minute you fire it back up, Paragon will automatically try to reconnect you to the game that you left. In the MOBA genre, we can all agree on one thing, we hate losing players. Going a man down sucks, so Epic have done right by us gamers including this feature. This feature, as far as I'm aware, is also available on PC, but I just wanted to emphasize that this is something you don't see on PlayStation, so I'm really glad Epic have included this. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe if you did. I just wanted to let you guys know that I have the full Twin Blast gameplay, I think it's around 26 minutes. So if you just want to enjoy the gameplay, let me know in the comment section and I'll upload the raw footage. It may take me a while with my poor internet speeds, but I'll definitely upload it if you guys show some interest. You can check out some of my other gameplay footage here. I've got Murdoch, Gideon, Sparrow, and I'll be posting Steel, Kalari, and some Muriel very soon. Until next time guys, peace.